No Bigfooters or Sasquatch were harmed during the filming of this video. Just their pride. I'm here to do one thing, is to bring one of these creatures back. I don't want to talk right now. So don't get mad. Just keep the, keep the camera off right now, okay? I said I don't want to talk. You got it? Joan, get me a Snapple. Oh, Tom Biscardi, you want a Snapple? I got one for you, hold on. Yeah. Might be a little warm. Hey, my little Squatch Monsters, it's time to shake up the Bigfoot community. This is Off the Richter. Bigfoot's your forest friend? Are you kidding me? I'm sure all of you have seen Richter's new show. Very nice, Richter. You have no self-respect. What does he know about self-respect? Speaking of Richter, 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 Richter. He's my biggest fan. Oh, don't you worry. This season, the earrings are coming off. And then they take all kinds of screenshots, take them back to their <laughs> troll group. Oh boy, here we go. Make sure your seats are raised and tray tables locked in the upright position. We're gonna find out if Bigfoot's real by watching videos made by researchers, hoaxers, and attention whores like me. I've got news for you people. There's no such thing as a Bigfoot expert. It's like you guys are just glorified campers. You're camping for a cause. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> okay, this is an example of why scientists don't take us seriously. You want your Bigfoot video to be seen? Now's your chance. Rick DiRiolo. <laughs> yeah. Let me tell you, him saying my name, it's kind of scary. I mean, that's the godfather of Bigfoot. Okay, if he gives you an offer you can't refuse, you better take it. Especially if you're a broke son of a bitch. But I've got a job, I've always had a job. So Tom and I have an understanding. I was uh, no more than 12 feet away from one, but that was the first one and the one that will stick in my mind till the day I die. Now, according to Wikipedia, Tom Biscardi is a cryptozoology enthusiast, Las Vegas promoter, and internet radio host and film producer. He describes himself as the real Bigfoot hunter. Now, Biscardi has been centrally involved in several hoaxes regarding Bigfoot that have garnered widespread international media attention. <laughs> wow, and I call myself an attention whore. Well, compared to him, this is a big dog. Now, on his website, Tom Biscardi wrote, I was watching Johnny Carson in 1967, and I saw the first 8mm footage that Roger Patterson took of the Bluff Creek incident. And I said to myself, how the hell can we send a man to the moon, but we can't find this creature? Can't argue that. Tom Biscardi here, the real Bigfoot hunter. You know who I am and all of the competitors out there and all the haters sure as hell know who I am. Now for like the four of you that don't know who Tom Biscardi is, in 2005 he appeared on the radio program Coast to Coast AM and he claimed he was 98% sure his group would be able to capture a Bigfoot near Happy Camp, California. We have our uh, transport team ready to bring this creature back by air helicopter source. Now on August 19th, he returned to say he knew of the location of a captured Bigfoot specimen. And that he would air footage of the creature through a $14 webcam service. Wow. The original Patreon, the original GoFundMe right there, ladies and gentlemen. Impressive, wow. 2005 he was doing this? Hmm. Bigfoot, Sasquatch, Bushman, the forest people, it goes on and on and on. And to think my off the Richter and after hours videos on YouTube only pay my cell phone bill. I'm out here alive and kicking, that's right. However, on the day the footage was to be distributed, Tom Biscardi claimed he was hoodwinked by a woman in Stagecoach, Nevada. Could it be that dingbat Tara Hockey? <gasps> 
And of course, the specimen did not exist. You think? Coast to Coast AM host George Norrie demanded that Tom Biscardi refund the money to people who had paid for the webcam subscription. Biscardi then offered a refund on his website to those who had subscribed for the service after August 19th. This is as real as you're standing right where you are, sir. But it wasn't. Turns out this Bigfoot was just a rubber gorilla suit. These two men from Georgia claimed they found the corpse of a Sasquatch in the woods. Now in August of 2008, Matthew Witten and Rick Dyer of Georgia announced that they had discovered the carcass of a seven foot, seven inch, 500 pound Bigfoot like creature while hiking through the northern mountains of their state. When we discovered it, um, I waited with it. Uh, Rick went back and, uh, and got some help. They said they had placed the body in a freezer in an undisclosed location. They also claimed to have seen three similar creatures when they had found the body. Now Biscardi teamed up with Witten and Dyer to promote the claim that they had a Bigfoot corpse and promised the media DNA evidence. The three held a press conference in Palo Alto, California. I remember this on CNN, where they showed photographs of the alleged creature. And Matthew Witten posted, everyone who has ever talked down to us is going to eat their words. Well, Tom Biscardi also tried to reassure the media of the corpse's authenticity, saying, last weekend, I touched it. I measured its feet. I felt its intestines. And their proof, these two photos. Four hours. Enough for Tom Biscardi, the head of a Bigfoot seen, search team. What I touched, what I felt, what I prodded was not a mask that was sewn on a, a, a bear hide. Well, Witten and Dyer have since admitted that it was a rubber costume. Gee, you think? Now, Witten, a police officer in Clayton County, Georgia at the time, put his career in jeopardy after participation in the hoax. Clayton County Police Chief Jeff Turner said, once he perpetuated a fraud, that goes into his credibility and integrity. He has violated the duty of a police officer. Well, Biscardi claimed that he was deceived and that he was seeking justice. Well, that didn't stop Tom Biscardi from appearing in Shooting Bigfoot along with Rick Dyer that came out a few years ago. Hmm. And you're riling me up, okay? But I'm glad you are. It's about time that somebody comes forth and tells the truth. And now, Tom Biscardi is the current CEO and founder of Bigfoot Projects Investments Incorporated and is out looking for Bigfoot, calling it the $1 million Bigfoot Bounty. Are you kidding me? Bigfoot is real, make no mistake. And Bigfoot Project Investments, Inc., listed on the OTC Markets ticker as BGFT, has devoted all their resources, putting their money where their mouth is to prove it. That's why they've issued this Bigfoot Million Dollar Bounty. To silence all doubters, they're offering a $1 million Bigfoot Bounty for anyone brave enough to deliver information leading to the capture or delivery of a bona fide Bigfoot. This is not for the faint of heart. For details about this million dollar Bigfoot Bounty, searchingforbigfoot.com. Dude, that's not very creative. Did he consider hiring maybe my TV show hosts, uh, Dean Kane, Dr. Disitale, and Natalia Reagan to be a part of his $1 million Bigfoot bounty? Oh my God. All right, let's see what Tom Biscardi has to say on Off the Richter. <sighs> Tom Biscardi, the godfather of Bigfoot, how you doing? I am so proud of you, son. You have no clue. Son, son, could it be? Is that my father? Am I truly a Biscardi? Am I some corporate government sponsored saboteur of the Bigfoot world? Is this the Bigfoot truth all you motherfucking haters have been just wanting to find? I am so proud of you, son. You have no clue. Keep up this great, great uh, role that you're portraying. And, and it's sure entertainment, sure entertainment for the Bigfoot world, okay? That doesn't help my case, does it? Oh, it's not looking too good for Richter. Richter Biscardi. Ladies and gentlemen, I want to let the world know that Mr. <laughs> Riolo happens to be my hitman, okay? Right. No, don't tell him that. No, oh my God. It's true. That's right. We have that million dollar bounty and here's the man that's going to be out there making sure 
that he gets a good hit on this creature, all right? And he's the one that really entertains you people. Only thing I don't like, Mr. Riolo, you gotta calm it a little bit. Leave those bottom feeders and the people without teeth in their mouth that are on disability and can't form a, a, a sentence of more than three words and can't count more than five, leave them alone. Why don't you direct some of that energy, that good energy, those good vibes, son, okay? To what I contracted you to do. Okay, let's talk about our contract, uh, Pop. Uh, third paragraph, second sentence, I have it stated that I require a cabana boy at all times. And so far your son hasn't been doing his duties. Uh, he hasn't been bringing me my Snapple. So uh, Carmine, TJ, Tom Biscardi Jr. On your knees. Oh wait, we're brothers. Eh, who cares? Rick, Rick, Rick. Look, mom has told you many a times it doesn't ruin in the family. You gotta be the cabana boy. You get on your knees. That's what you do, bitch. Love ya. You're the double secret agent. <laughs> that way, folks. The, what was that old video game? Um, Spy Hunter? Do 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 How did it go? How did it go? Was that how it went? You're the double secret agent. By the way, folks, his name isn't Riolo. His last name is Biscardi. And he's been a triple, double, quadruple secret agent for me against all you other mullets in the world, in the Bigfoot world. You know, there's gonna be some of you that think that this could be true. That here is the evidence you guys have been looking for all these years to prove that Richter's a hoaxer, Richter's a liar, Richter's a government-sponsored corporate fraud of the Bigfoot world. Really, people have a sense of humor. Come on, that's what Bigfoot's about. Tom Biscardi, the godfather of the Bigfoot world, who was in or was not in on the Rick Dyer hoax of 2008. Guys, this is like Bigfoot royalty. Matt Moneymaker, Tom Biscardi, Rick Dyer, and then there's Richter Re Biscardi, Rolo. By the way, so his real name is <laughs> Riolo. Riolo is no more there, it's Biscardi. He works for me, okay? And here's the deal. Let's stop putting all our time and energy with all these weak underlings. Let's go to the people who've really fucked us up, okay? Who's been perpetrating and perpetrating a hoax for 50 years. Let's go after Gimlin. Let's go after the scholastic world that these people are teaching our kids. Let's go after Gimlin? I love Bob Gimlin. He's the grandfather I never had. Maybe Bob Gimlin's telling the truth, Tom. But what if Roger Patterson was lying? What if Roger Patterson was truly the hoaxer? Think about that. Could Bob Gimlin be telling his truth? Think about that for a second. Is Bob Gimlin a liar? I love him. I like him. If it turns out that Bob Gimlin was in on this Patterson-Gimlin hoax from the very beginning, it doesn't change how I feel about him. Because once someone's in your heart and you know their character, he's a good man. You know, were we all there back in 1967? No, I wasn't even born yet. And Tom Biscardi was probably just getting his social security by then. <laughs> ah, I'm not gonna go after Bob Gimlin. I like the guy. He's my Bigfoot hero. False remarks. This isn't a real film, folks. It's fake, F-A-K-E, real simple. Even those people without teeth, okay, that cannot construct a sentence of more than three words and count more than five, F-A-K-E. Not every hoax is a bad thing. Okay, maybe the PG film is fake. I've had a change of mind over this footage recently. Uh, my whole life I thought it was real. I don't think it's real now. Uh, when you become friends with an actual hoaxer like Rick Dyer, for example, it opens your eyes and it makes you see the bigger picture. I do think Bigfoot's real. 
However, hoaxers keep the legend of Bigfoot alive. Bigfoot doesn't want any attention. It wants to be left alone, if it's real. So, you know what? Hoaxers are good at what they do. And if the Patterson-Gimlin film is a hoax, it brought us all together. I was able to meet some amazing people. I have yet to get laid because of the film, but I'm working on it. Nonetheless, some of you people out there have met because of the Patterson-Gimlin film and have had families because of that film. So at the end of the day, it doesn't matter if the PG film is real or not. It will never be proven one way or the other unless someone comes forward like Patricia Patterson, who's still collecting checks whenever that footage is shown on TV. Unless someone like her comes forward and says the whole thing has been a big sham, we're never going to know. And it doesn't matter. We need to go out there and prove Bigfoot's real one or the other. So on that note, you know, I support the Patterson-Gimlin film if it's real. And I absolutely support it if it's a hoax. Because look at what it's done for the world of Bigfoot. It's fake. Do you understand? So spend that energy, all that time on Gimlin. Let's get him to a, a round table. Let's bring it out in the open, okay? Mr. Riolo slash Biscardi, can we do that? So let's see how good you really are, all right? Let's make it happen, son. Remember, you've been with me now for three and a half years. Double, triple, quadruple, under agent, secret agent, call you what you want. That's right, folks. Mr. Riolo slash Biscardi has been working for me all these years. So guess what? It's come out, and he's going to come out there knocking on your door. Tom Biscardi, Big Papa, my father, the Commander-in-Chief of Sasquatch. I am the Queen of the Gimlin Guard. Surprise, Tom Biscardi. I am Queen of the Gimlin Guard. Therefore, we are not gonna bring Bob Gimlin to a round table so you can point your finger at him and call him a fake. And if you've ever met the man, you will know that he has a heart of gold. And I've never seen a hateful, negative word come out of that man's lips. He is an absolute joy. So am I supporting him if he's a hoaxer? I guess I am. Shame on Richter. Bob Gimlin is 85 years old as of right now. And we're lucky to have him this long. We're not gonna corner him. We're not gonna put him at a round table. We're not gonna question him about the minute details of that film that was made back in 1967 that was 59 seconds long. Roger Patterson, in my opinion, is the hoaxer. He created that footage, in my opinion. Go ahead and shoot me, whatever. We all have our opinions. Throughout my life, I had blinders on and I thought the Patterson Gilman film was real. But then as I grew up and started to, you know, question everything and have a little bit more of a critical thought process, I now think the film may not be real. But then I know and love Bob Gimlin, who is the only living eyewitness that we know of to the incident on October 20th, 1967, because Roger Patterson died 45 years ago. But then you have people like Philip Morris, who's claimed that he made the costume, and Bob Hieronymus saying he wore the costume. So you've got like two people against one. But I know Bob Gimlin and I love him. And if he says that he saw a Bigfoot and was there with Roger Patterson, I believe him. He's never shown to be a liar to me in any way, shape, or form. But then my critical thought process says, wait a minute, Roger Patterson had the intent of filming a Bigfoot movie. Oh wait, there's a Bigfoot. Really? That motherfucker was that lucky on October 20th, 1967, when Bigfoot researchers like Peter Byrne and Rene DeHinden for their whole lives never had a fucking sighting, but he did when he went out to film Bigfoot? You know, see, there's my critical thought process. If Bob Gimlin says Roger Patterson filmed a Bigfoot, I'm going to believe him. You know, it's like with science and religion. Uh, you're we're torn. I adore Bob. He's a very charming man. I'd do anything for him. And I would even protect him from the Godfather. Oh, we're going to have a big mafia war now in the world of Bigfoot. The Riolos versus the Biscardis. Uh-oh. So, Tom, Cornering Bob Gimlin for a roundtable discussion will not happen on my watch. 
sorry. I think he has a lot of integrity and a lot of character, and he's a good man. Maybe you'd have a change of opinion if you sat down and talked to him too. Not everyone in the Bigfoot world is a means to make money, Tom. Did that sting? Sorry. Till next time, America. Cliff Barrickman, Bigfoot researcher and star of the hit TV show, Finding Bear, said that in order to debate the Patterson-Gimlin film, which Tom Biscardi here thinks is fake. It's fake. One must read the book by Bill Munns, When Roger Met Patty. Could this book be biased? Well, I'm gonna add to that, Cliff. One must also read a contrasting opinion of the Patterson-Gimlin film, The Making of Bigfoot by Greg Long. And could this be biased as well? Absolutely. So when Roger met Patty, if you have this book, turn to page 21. Hmm. Bill Munns talks about that he understands film, editing, cinematography, and that he's listened to all the proponent claims of the Patterson-Gimlin film being a hoax and all the skeptical stuff. And then the last sentence down here says, and now's the time to solve the mystery. Dun, dun, dun. So, by saying that, you're implying by reading this book, you're gonna solve the mystery if the Patterson-Gimlin film is real or not. Hmm, I call bullshit. Now, my problem with the Greg Long book the Making of Bigfoot, The Inside Story. Greg Long isn't writing about Roger Patterson in a fair light. It's a little negative, in my opinion. Uh, chapter one, first sentence, page 19, he says, Roger Patterson was a little man with a big idea. And he keeps referring to Roger, who's been passed away now for 45 years, uh, as a little man as a little man, as a little man. It's, it's almost like it's a little derogatory. And I can keep going. There's other uh, references to Roger Patterson that aren't too um, positive, and it's a little negative. Biased, okay? Both books, in my opinion, are bullshit. They're not being written from an open point of view. They both have agendas to get to their readers. And they're biased as fuck, all right? So what side are you on? Is it being fake? Is it being real? Oh my God. Read both books. Form an opinion of your own, all right? I have. Don't just listen to Cliff Barrickman and just read one book. Read the other opinion as well. Do I think they're both bullshit? Absolutely. And they both fall at the same rate of acceleration to the ground. Hmm. They're both coming from two different agendas. One being real, the other being fake. Is that cool? Are they preaching to a choir? Because that's what the Bigfoot world seems to be made of. Those that think that Patterson Gilman is real and those that think it's not. And now it's time for Richter's Hate Mail Off the Week. Let's get to it. Okay, so this comes from like the Dogman Bigfoot website. And of course their name is Anonymous. This is what Anonymous said. Richter tries to separate himself from these hillbilly researchers, but he's visually indiscernible from the most hillbillish of them. And then there's a reply. Dun, dun, dun. Of course, from Anonymous, and Anonymous said, if they ever make a Deliverance 2 movie, he would be perfect for the part. Mm. Oh, I do squeal like a pig. Oink, oink, oink. All right, my Squatch Monsters, on this Off the Richter, we took a look at the godfather of Bigfoot, Tom motherfucking Biscardi. And it was revealed that I am a Biscardi myself. The truth has come out. Richter Biscardi, that's my name. Well, at least I'm not some kind of a corporate sponsored saboteur or government field agent to destroy the Bigfoot world. I'm truly a Biscardi. Oh my gosh. Mm. As long as I don't get the kiss of death, I'm good. <laughs> well, unfortunately, Tom Biscardi took up all our time on this off the Richter. So that means I have to move Rick Dyer and Daniel Benoit, two very well-known Bigfoot hoaxers. I mean, personalities, YouTubers, Bigfoot personalities for the Hall of Shame. Now the Hall of Shame is the next and final episode of Off the Richter. And I'm gonna do a recap 
of everybody I've roasted on this show this year. And there's gonna be a winner. So, who's gonna be the winner? Hmm. If you've been following this show, it's something you're not gonna wanna miss. So go ahead and give me a thumbs up and comment down below and tell me what you think of Tom Biscardi. Is he a hoaxer? A big for personality? Is he the all-time greatest researcher? What is Tom Biscardi? Just remember, he is the Godfather. And on that note, I'll see you next time. Do, 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 do. I guess I'm not quite the James Bond you thought I was, huh? Do, 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 do. Am I a double agent? <gasps> One minute I'm with Biscardi, the next minute I'm with Bob Gimlin, then I'm back with Biscardi, then I'm with Bob Gimlin. Do, 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 do. <sighs> Roger Patterson's the hoaxer, guys. I'm telling you. And he's been awfully quiet for the past 45 years. Hmm, I wonder why. Oh, he's dead. Well. Bigfoot's paranormal. Maybe we could all hold hands and have a seance and ask Roger Patterson, is it a hoax? Where has this been? Now we wait for the response. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What do you mean response? Like, that doesn't mean we're going to get a response, is it? What was that? Was that Bigfoot? No, that was my wife. <sighs> Don't rat me out like that. Sorry, honey. <laughs>